Donald and Melania Trump were noted for not using the traditional greeting when they meet the Queen on Monday afternoon. As Yahoo News reports, tradition would dictate Mr. Trump would bow while Mrs. Trump would curtsy. Instead, they neglected the maneuvre and the Queen simply extended her hand for a handshake. The Trumps did not bow or curtsy on their visit last year either. But the explanation is simple. The greeting is tradition but not mandatory. Indeed, the royal family website says, there are no obligatory codes of behavior when meeting the Queen. But men are encouraged to neck bow and women are encouraged are to the small curtsy for visitors who wish to stick to the traditional methods. Having been welcomed by the Queen, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall at Buckingham Palace, the Trumps proceeded to attend a performance of God Save the Queen and the Star Spangled Banner, the two national anthems. Mr. Trump and Prince Charles then went on to inspect a guard of honor. The President and First Lady then attended a private lunch with the Queen, Charles, Camilla, Prince Harry, Prince Andrew, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester and Prince Edward, Duke of Kent. They were then shown items from the royal collection relating to America before a state banquet. On Tuesday, Mr. Trump met Theresa May and laid a wreath on the tomb of the unknown soldier in Westminster Abbey. He drew controversy when he suggested the NHS would be involved in trade talks. Health Secretary and Tory leadership candidate Matt Hancock gave assurances the NHS would not be involved in talks with any nation. The visit itself has drawn controversy with protests against his visit, a Trump supporter would have milkshake thrown at him by protesters. The 45th President of the United States has been involved in a war of words with Mayor of London Sadiq Khan. Mr. Khan accused Mr. Trump of acting like an 11-year-old child following comments that the US President made calling him a stone-cold loser. This came after Mr. Khan wrote an article in The Observer in which he said it was un-British to roll out the red carpet, arguing Trump's behavior flies in the face of the ideals America was founded on, equality, liberty and religious freedom.